Okay, we have retained an interesting integral from the UNSW integration B 2024. This was semifinals, round one, problem three. We have the integral from zero to infinity of x, e to the minus x, cosine x, dx. Okay, I remember a little while back, I went really similar to this, and what I did for that was integration by parts. The tricky thing with integration by parts on this is you have three things. So you have to kind of choose two to differentiate and one to integrate or the other way. And then sometimes it can be a little tedious. What I want to do instead today is do this using a Laplace transform. So first what we'll do is we'll just look at our definition for the Laplace transform of some function f of t. This is going to be the same thing as just an integral from zero to infinity, like what we have here of our function f of t times e minus st dt. And so just notice in our Laplace transform, everything's in terms of t except for this s. So the result of this when you integrate it is going to be some function in terms of s. So now let's get back to our integral and find a way to put it into this form here. So let's just rewrite this going from zero to infinity. What I'm gonna do is change the variable. I just like to use t when I'm doing a Laplace transform. You don't really need to, but let's do this. So this is x I'm gonna write as t, cosine t. And then for this, we'll have e minus, I'm gonna create st right here just to match this. But of course I don't wanna change it. So we added this, what I wanna do is let's just set this equal to We'll just set our s value equal to 1, and that way we haven't done anything to change it. If s is 1, then we still have the exact same thing we have for our original integral. And then now that we have this written like this here, matching to our formula, this piece right here is going to be our f of t. And then just writing it like this, we can say this is the same thing as the Laplace transform of t cosine t. But now this is pretty nice because we actually have a couple formulas we can use. First of all, we have a formula for just the Laplace transform of say, let's say cosine at, even though in our case, a is just one here. And the formula for this is just gonna be s over s squared plus a squared. But then what about this t right here? Well, we have another formula for that, for the Laplace transform, for just general when we have t times some function f of t. And I actually just derived this recently in another video, I'll provide a link in the description to that. But our formula for this is just gonna be minus the derivative with respect to s of big f of s, where big F of S is actually just the Laplace transform of this F of T right here. So with these two formulas, we have everything we need to calculate this because first for the Laplace transform of cosine of T, we just have a one for our A value on this. So using this first formula here, this is gonna be the same thing as S over S squared plus one squared. We'll just write that as S squared plus one. And so for this right here, we're just gonna to need to use this second formula for Laplace of T cosine of T. First, we're gonna have this minus sign out front. Then we'll take the derivative of this, just using the quotient rule. So first derivative of the numerator is gonna be just one times the denominator, so that's gonna be s squared plus one. Then minus the numerator, which is s times the derivative of the denominator, that's gonna give me two s over the denominator squared, so we have s squared plus one, all squared. Now just clean this up, let's distribute in this minus sign. So this minus times minus here is gonna give me a plus, we'll put a minus right here. Then going out of order, we'll do this part first, we'll have two s squared minus s squared minus one all over s squared. I'm just gonna leave this as s squared plus one all squared. Then simplifying this, it's just gonna become s squared minus one over s squared plus one all squared. And now at this point, let's just recall what we're doing. We're finding the value of this integral right here, which I'm gonna call big G of s, just because we already used f of s right there. But remember, this is the same thing as our original integral, and we just need to evaluate this at s equals one. So for the value we want, we found this value right here. And the only thing is, of course, we want a numeric value. We don't want this as a function of s. So all we need to do in order to finish this off is take our function here, big G of s, and we just need to evaluate it at s equals one. So all we need to do is just plug in. So we need to find a value for G of one. So coming back with this, it's gonna be one squared minus one over one squared plus one, all squared. But this numerator is just gonna be zero. So for my final solution of this, we just get zero. Okay, there you have it. Interesting integral using Laplace transforms. Thanks everyone for watching today. Have a good day.